Hello there. How is everyone? Happy Labor Day. Um, I can't stand this spot. <laughs> I really don't like it. It's bothering me. I'm going to have to do something to try to get rid of it. Cause, or either splash paint all over it. Because that little one spot, it just stands out every time I look at it. Anyway, um, today we're doing part two of my coloring journey. And I'm going to show you some of my books and um, finished pages, whips that I have. Um, it's going to lead into other things that I got into because of coloring. I started coloring, um, actually my first set of books that I bought was sometime around 2011 with a set of gel pens. I bought it from Amazon. Uh, my baby cousin, Bianca, um, we were in a craft store with her mom, my cousin Jackie, and um, she asked if she would buy her some coloring books. And I was like, wow, that's interesting. I, you know, I, I hadn't thought of coloring in years. Um, so uh, I bought some, but I bought some from Amazon that were like very intricate, little tiny detailed patterns and I found myself not liking it too much so I gave all the stuff to my son's girlfriend at the time um, who enjoyed coloring. Fast forward a few years 2015 and the book that put coloring on the table came out and um, everyone that colors has heard of they may not have it in their um, collection but they have heard of The Secret Garden or Secret Garden by Joanna Basford. This book put coloring on the map, seriously. Um, when this book came out, coloring went crazy. And this was also my first uh, coloring book that got me into coloring. Now, I, I can't ramble too much because it's a lot of books i don't want to make this into a two-hour video <laughs> i don't think my sd card can take i'm not going to do flip throughs of each book because there are hundreds of flip throughs of every single one of these books i assure you um however if there's something that you want to ask if there's a link that you would like me to provide just leave it in the comments below and i will be more than happy to do it so let me show you what i've done in this book um, this is in no particular order. Some are earlier, some are later. Um, so this was when I was practicing how to do um, stones and jewels, how to color them and give them that effect. And um, these, I, I really enjoyed doing these. I just never finished the picture because the thing about Joanna Basford is it's a lot of detail. And I tend to... Um, not like a lot of detail. Um, so this one says I did it December 26, 2015. Um, this was done with Marco Ruffin pencils because that's what I had at the time. Um, and some gel pen. I don't know if you could see the black glittering. It's not focused, but that was a glitter gel pen. I love glitter and all things sparkly. Okay, so this one's a special one. This one um, was done with Marco Ruffin's and glittery gel pen. And the background was done with pastels. I took a piece of cardstock and I made a cutout to re resemble clouds. And then I took a... Um, a cotton ball and I put the ch pastel chalk on it I scraped pastel chalk on the cotton ball or I scraped it somewhere and I picked it up with the cotton ball and then I put the cutout that I did sort of like a stencil and then just went over the edges with the cotton ball so if you want to see a demonstration of that Leave it in the comments and I will, you know, I don't mind. I'm not a teacher. I don't plan to do tutorials, but it's, that's something that I can show you how to do really simple. It's, and, and look at the effect, the background. It looks beautiful. And that was very simple to do. 
12K. This is another one I started and I hated it and so I stopped doing it. I was very new and I was learning. And that's it for this book. And then the next Joanna, I have mo like the first four or is it the first three? No, the first four that came out. So this is the Enchanted Forest and I did a few in here too. It's kind of not finished because I did um, sign it as finished. I did this one in 2016, January 2016. Um, but after I started doing more pages, then I like to have a full page colored. So to me, it's not finished. Something has to go on the background. This one is just gel pens and um, soft pastels in the background. So all of this was done with glittery gel pen and then all the background color was just plain, um, you see the glitter? Soft pastels. And in my supplies video, I showed you the soft pastels. They cost me $6 and change and they're wonderful. What I do though is um, there's this spray called Work It Affected, Work it, workable fixative um, that you spray and then that protects the pastel from transferring to anything and rubbing off now I got glitter all over my hands I don't know if you can see that there were cheap glitter pens I, that I bought from China <laughs> I actually ordered them from Amazon but they were like five dollars and they took a really long time to come and at that time I didn't know nothing about ordering anything from China and um, when they finally came, they, they're beautiful, very pigmented. However, it, they take days to dry. I had to leave this book open. And it the glitter just comes off all over. And it's a very fine, fine glitter, which is nice if it stayed, <laughs> stayed on the ink. Um, but, um, oh, what was I saying? So, yeah, it's called workable fixative. It's something that you need to spray outside because it's the fumes can be dangerous. Um, but it it you can continue working on top of it after it's dried, of course. I usually give it a whole 24 hours. Um, and you can continue working on top of it. There's fixative. Once you spray that, I don't think you can you can work on it because the stuff is not going to stick, um, especially if it's in a coloring book. But you get yourself some workable fixative if you're going to use pastels, definitely. Or hairspray. People use hairspray. Me, I like to get what I'm supposed to get. Anyway, this is one of the earlier ones that I'm very, very proud of. It took me a very long time, but I'm super proud of it. I was learning shading. Um, I don't know if you can see the shading and the little shadowing um and i outlined everything with glitter pen <laughs> glitter gel pen um but i'm very very proud of my little rainbow leaf world wind thingy <laughs> okay this is another one that i really love um my dragonfly i love the colors the background is soft pastel but if you look at it up close you see those sparkly things that is um crayola glitter glue and it comes with a fine point so you can do all kinds of decorations with that glitter glitter glue okay this is one of my favorites this was a tutorial done by Peta Hewitt, which was one of my favorite, or still is one of my favorite colorists. Uh, unfortunately, she doesn't do um, videos um, anymore like she used to. It's been a while um, due to personal reasons. So we have to respect that. But I do miss her videos. Every time she posted one, I was there watching it. So she did a, a color along tutor slash tutorial. And this was the picture, and I followed along. Um, she used the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils, and I absolutely love how it came out. 
is it this is not in focus i'm so sorry let me focus there we go the shading and the shadows and i used almost her exact colors for most everything and almost every single technique that she used um so yeah i except i of course you see the um fireflies i had to use some glittery effects here and there <laughs> so yeah i absolutely love this one peter hewitt i'll link her down below if you want to check out her videos um so this is another one that i really love my colorful bird and the jelly bean eggs <laughs> i really love how they came out and i had so much fun doing them now you see the grass that's another stencil that i did and i used the same technique that i that i used um on the clouds and here i did clouds again a little less um obvious but i think it came out beautiful and the sun is soft pastel so yeah that's that for this book magical jungle i only did one i don't even know if i completed it but this is one of my favorites of hers wait i gotta get us focused again this is wait let me focus it down here so you okay so this is one of my favorites of hers the enchanted forest is my absolute favorite of the joanna basford line um but this is my second favorite i love the pictures in this book again there are plenty of flip throughs oh yeah okay now i stopped doing this because i think i mm, i almost cursed <laughs> i effed up the beak and um i don't like the way the body was coming out but i use derwent intense pencils on on the on everything um and but i do love how the flowers came out the flowers and the leaves especially these i think i followed a tutorial or a color along i can't remember because i sometimes would start on a tutorial and then end up doing my own thing so that's the only one in this book um and then this is the one i hate the most <laughs> i the artwork is beautiful i just can't stand this book why because if you think the, these have detail course I open the one with the look at this everything is tiny tiny I can't these some of them are nice but the majority of the pictures look at that detail I can't look at that I can't do this this is good with a gel pen and I'm not a big fan of gel pens anymore. Oh, holy. And I've seen people do this one. No, I can't. No. <laughs> but that's my Joanna Bassford. Okay. The next series of books are my absolute favorite. I fell in love with the hardcover books. And I'm going to start off with the one. Her books are hard to get to. Get if you don't buy them when they're in stock it's hard to find you can find them on etsy but she charges a lot for shipping so i'd rather i waited for it to come back on amazon where i paid for the full price of the book which is 28 dollars. i've never paid 28 dollars for a freaking coloring book but look how beautiful it is and this is fairy miracles by clara markova i wish to get all her books i really love them they're whimsical and they're fairies and they're just little trolls and little just just beautiful um when you get the book these are the inserts that are in it her signature on one some it's the, a bookmark that you can color and a little um note from her um they are beautiful absolutely beautiful books and the hardcover helps me that I don't have to use my artboard 
and clip it, clip my book to an artboard, which can get uncomfortable because my artboard is big. So I can go right on my table, right in my lap, anywhere I want and color. And I have the protection that I need where it's not going to bend. The page, anyway, is not going to bend. Okay, so this is another one of my absolute favorite pictures that I did. Okay, so let me get the full shot of it. Okay, so in this picture, I used... Oh, I don't have my mic on. I'm so sorry, Kendra. Hold on. I'm going to put my mic on. I'm going to put this on pause. Okay, I have my mic on now. Is that better, honey? <laughs> All right. Um, I want you to hear me. Anyway, um, yeah, so in this picture, I use several media. By the time I did this picture, I had learned a lot. I had acquired quite a a significant amount of supplies um so this picture has watercolor no no not watercolor it has the um arteza watercolor brushes um which i did the mushrooms i did her dress um i did the, the flowers the pillows the egg um did I do that? No, I think I did the egg and pencil first. And then, um, I don't know if you can see, whoa, the stuff is coming out. <laughs> oh, I didn't show you the back of the bookmark. So it shows her the books that were out previously, which I don't have and I do want. Let me get this in focus. These are the names of them. These are their, um, where is she from? I'm not sure where she's from, but they have... Um, the American, the U.S. version as well. Um, wait, that's not how I'm going to focus it. I got to focus it this way. <laughs> Tapping on the book is not going to focus it, Maritza. Anyway, so down here on that pillow, you see how these are Spectrum Noir glitter brush markers. Is that not fabulous the way and these do not come out that's it stays it stays it doesn't come out like those other ones and i used um the the uh crayola i'm there i go tapping the freaking book i gotta tap the camera <laughs> i'm so sorry i'm trying to get you in focus it doesn't want to focus okay so um yeah i use some of the glitter markers in different areas okay so these wings were a tutorial and i think the channel is called a colorful world but i might be wrong i will find it and link it down below but this was a tutorial done with pencils and i used my prisma color pencils because i think that's what she used and i think they came out fabulous so then i gave it a wash of clear glitter gel pen no, it was a brush marker. Um, the brush marker is called Wink of Stellar. Um, hold on, I have them nearby. Where are they? There they go. Sorry. Okay, so this is the Wink of Stella. And this is like a water brush. It looks like a water brush, but there is a glitter, a, a very fine glitter um, ink. And I absolutely love them. And then these are the Wink of Stella. I don't know if you can see that. Wink of Stella brush. Um, I love these. They have a finer point than the um, Spectrum Noir. I really love these. And I have them in several colors. I have about four or five of them. They come in three packs and um, I love them. I do love these because the glitter is finer and heavier. If you want a hint of glitter i the wink of stella if you want lots of glitter then the spectrum noir and these i find these on amazon the wink of stella i find amazon and you can also find the spectrum noir on amazon i bought them from the home shopping network 
Okay, so I absolutely love this. Um, however, I need to do something to the background. I keep going in and out of focus. This is the only one I did of this book, but look at these pictures. Is that not gorgeous? Lots of fairies. And it's a lot of detail, but they're they're doable. My eyes can see them, <laughs> you know? And I love all the little, the quirkiness and the sweetness. It's just beautiful pictures. And I've seen incredible, incredible finished pages. So that is Fairy Miracles by Clara Markova. Here's another, oh, this goes in there too. Everything came out. This is another one that I love, Twi uh, Maria Troll. I love her stuff. And this is Twilight Garden. She has, I think, two more out and you can also find them on Amazon. Now, there, it's similar to the Clara Markova in, in that quirky, cutesy, um, way that Clara Markova also has. So I started this, I wanted to make it look like a swamp, um, but I just never finished it. So that's the only one, yeah, that's the only one I did in that. Now, next is my absolute favorite, okay? I love this woman's art. I love her books. Um, they're similar to the hardcover books. I mean, they, they, you know, they follow the same format, but she is my absolute favorite. I don't have all of hers. I have four of them. Um, there's, I think, two more, and I need to really get them. <laughs> so it's, um, is this in focus? Okay, it's Daydreams by Hannah Carlson, and I love, 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 love her books, okay? Um, I've done a few. This was a tutorial, and I want to kick myself in the ass right now because I meant to go online and look up this young lady's name. Oh my God. Well, this young lady put out a lot of coloring videos. She was very talented. And this was one of her tutorials. And sometime in um, 2017, I think it was July of 2017, she passed away. And it was a shock to the coloring community. And like I said, I want to kick myself in the ass right now because I can't for the life of me remember her name. Um, like I said before I record, I feel like I have an audience and I feel a little nervous and sometimes my mind goes blank, but I really did mean to look up her information and I will, and I will link her down below. Um, there is a hashtag for her. Um, so what I did was I did this one in her honor, um, and um, did the hashtag on it and it was one of her tutorials and it's a galaxy because sometimes these artists will give you a full um, color uh, um, what do they call it the full outline of a of a of an object and then they'll give you to you blank so you can do it you know doodle something yourself um so i she did this galaxy and i fell in love with it and i think it came out fabulous the background is acrylic paint and then this is pencil and the white is posca pen this is another one of my favorites and i believe it was a peter hewitt tutorial um and this was done in all watercolor with some pencil on top so i really love this i didn't give it any glitter no the stars that's all posca pen so isn't that pretty yeah i did it all in watercolor this is when i started getting into the watercolor this is another one done in watercolor and with pencil on top and i did add some glitter but it's not showing through, so. Oh yeah, I put a clear wash of the Wink wink of Stella. Let me, oops, sorry. <laughs> it's like I slapped you in the face with the page. So let me see if I can get 
can get the shine of it but i assure you it's you see the sparkle because the wink of stella's sparkle is so fine that it gives it a hint and it's just beautiful i love them i love them and they last and i've had them for a while i mean and i use them it's not like i don't use them come on where are you <laughs> Oh, okay. This is another one that I started by another uh, another tutorial. I wanted to do skin, and I think it came out fabulous. Um, the art, the colorist that did the tutorial, I believe her name was Chris Chang. And if I remember these links <laughs> down below, I hope I remember all of them. But wait, you're out of focus. So yeah, I need to finish it. I think she's coming out gorgeous. That skin came out awesome and then look at her eyes beautiful i mean i'm not patting myself on the back but these are some of these are tutorials that i follow so um you learn a lot from those color alongs and from the coloring tutorials one lady that puts out a she puts out um a video every single day julia's passion for coloring and she's amazing at it um, another favorite of mine is Claire Holloway, Coloring with Claire. She has the best tips and tutorials that I found out there. Um, I've learned a lot from her. She also has an Easy Galaxy tutorial that I followed on another page. I don't know if it's in one of these books though. Okay, this is Summer Nights. Another one. Whoa. <laughs> another one. <by> <laughs> Hannah Carlson, Carlson, um, and I've done a few. I think this is might be my favorite one of hers. I don't think I can't recall. Okay, so this was done um, with Prismacolor pencils. Um, the background is done in pastels. And then I wanted to do these, these like globes floating around. And I think they came out pretty nice. They look, and I did put glitter on the edges of it. Um, so I like to use different media on a page. It just makes it that much more, I'm sorry for the glare, that much more nicer. So this is, I don't know if you could see you see the glitter? I think it's so pretty. And even on the pearls, I put some glitter on the pearls. I love this book. This is another one where I followed a tutorial. I think it was Julia's Passion, the hair tutorial. The hair came out fabulous. Everything else was me, which looks amateurish. <laughs> when I follow a tutorial, my pages come out fabulous, but when I go on my own, they suck. This is my absolute favorite one of all. I think I did an excellent job on this. <laughs> and I used, um, I did follow a tutorial, but then I branched out on my own um, after the flowers and the crown. So look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? This reminds me of My Little Mermaid Bianca, which is my cousin Jackie's daughter. So the I decided not to put color on the tattoos to make them just that much more realistic. Um, I used the Prisma color pencils and uh, the white that you see for the highlight is Posca pens. And then just a, just a touch of glitter gel pen on just to make it look more bronzy, to make it look more metallic, but I don't like using metallic pencils because uh, it kind of tends to cover all the shading and it covers all the lines and it, I don't like them. Um, and on the flowers is Prismacolor pencils as well and some glitter gel pen. I did the same on the leaves. Her hair, subtle highlights and it went down to a lighter. I love how her eye came out. I gave her extra freckles. 
and her lips are done in Prismacolor pencils but I highlighted it with a Posca pen and then I smeared it so and her skin I think her skin and the shadows in her skin came out absolutely gorgeous yeah this is my absolute favorite of all my colorings So this is another one that I did that I really love. Um, I tried to get that, um, how do you call it? I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's B-O-K-E-H, bokeh, bokeh, boca, <laughs> bokeh effect. Um, yeah, I, they didn't come out perfect, but I would have to try it again. So yeah, I'm, I like the way the bird and the wreath came out the flowers a new a different type of color i think that was a tutorial as well <laughs> i don't have a brain to do my own shit <laughs> this definitely was a color along well it wasn't called the color along but um from julia's passion for coloring um done in prismacolor pencils i added um glitter on the flowers the background is acrylic paint black acrylic paint with white Posca pen for the stars. I don't like the way the stars look. I found a better way on laying down stars um, that I like to use better. I don't know if I have it in an example. So I outlined some stuff. The, um, I don't know. They look like radishes, <laughs> but they're purple. <laughs> I don't know what that that is. A bulb, I guess. Well, I made them purple because they look like grapes, plums, whatever. Um, so well actually they look like radishes so i put some glitter gel pen on them and then on the butterfly as well i did oh did that come at you too fast i i added some glitter gel pen and white posca paint okay this is a work in progress that I haven't finished. Another tutorial by Julia's Passion for Coloring. Um, I'm going in a different direction with the rest of it, or oh, I was going. So it's black acrylic paint in the back, and then I use Derwent Ink Tents for this out here. Or maybe it was the brush markers. Oh, wait, let me look. Doesn't feel like I used any water media. It might have been pencils. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I know this is definitely pencil, but this is black acrylic paint. That's that for that book. How long have we been going? Holy shit. It's 33 and I'm not even halfway three. Halfway through. 33 minutes. Okay, we're going a little faster. Okay. <laughs> so fast, I'm not even gonna show you the cover. Um the magical dawn on focus magical dawn also by hannah carson beautiful book her her coloring is just gorgeous and i'll show you this is something i started and i used the arteza water water brush pens which i like very much i think my diamonds came out pretty cool okay so let me just show you some of her some of her style I love her girls they have lots and lots of hair I love her jewels I gotta learn how to color these before I attempt that I love how she decorates the girls hair with flowers and jewel and the jewelry that she puts on them I just love it yeah, that's why she's my favorite. And this is the last one I have of hers, which is Jewelry Box. This is the newest one that I got. Well, it's been a while, but this is the last one I, re I bought. And I haven't done anything in it yet. But I just absolutely love it. She has cats and she has mice and she has birds and it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, now this next guy, I love him. He's a doodler 
and he puts out amazing coloring books. And his name is Kirby Rosanis, and this is Mythomorphia. Um, I have a work in progress. Oh, well, everything's a work in progress in here. I don't think I've finished. He's very intimidating. Oh, I'm not showing you that hot mess. That's a hot mess. He's very intimidating. Okay. Is this? No, that's not it. I'm showing you stuff. I don't want to show you the crap because I really messed up some pages in this book. Okay, I started this Phoenix. Black acrylic paint on the back. And I think it is, I used, a, yeah, Derwent Ink Tense pencils on the yellow and orange on the Phoenix. And I really have to finish it because I was enjoying this one. Okay, and this is one of my favorites in this book that I'm doing. I'm almost done. I got to do the rest of the birds and the background. So it's hard to put, it's, it's a two-pager, so. So I use the Neo Color 2 and pencil on top. So everything you see is the Neo Color 2 Aquarelle crayons, except for the bats. I used the black Posca paint and then I highlighted the wings um, to create light from the moon um, with white Posca paints. So these birds are going to be, where's the one that I did, are going to be done with a um, direct Derwent Intense Pencils as well. So yeah, is this focused? Sorry, it wasn't focused. So the trees, um, the trees and the werewolf got the Neo Color too, and it also has pencil on top. I darkened areas with pencil. So yeah, I need to finish that one. Um, I want to do the background, but <sighs> made the moon red. I'm not, I'm not comfortable making the background uh, reddish hue so i'm not going to even attempt it <laughs> okay so this is kirby rosanna's another of kirby rosanna's book rosanna's book imagimorphia and if no that was not i don't know if this was the first one or anamorphia was the first one i had anamorphia but i gave it away as a gift Okay, this is another one of my favorites, and this was done entirely with Derwent Intense Pencils and Pastel in the background. So you see those dots? Um, I have one of those electric erasers, the white dots, I mean. I use a stencil, and then I just erase the pastel. And then I use the same stencil to make the colored dots. Very easy. So this was all done with Durant Ink Tense pencils. Beautiful. If I do say so myself. <laughs> his pictures are very intimidating because there is a lot of detail. And um, I started this one also with Derwent Ink Tense. I love the way the eye came out, the eyes. Um, but as you can see, Look at that detail. All kinds of little, I don't know, little puffballs with eyes, and you got animals, and you got household items. You see skis in there. There's a wolf. There's a birdhouse. Just all these different random things that he he puts into his artwork. Uh, this is not important, but I started this one with Derwent Ink Tense. Okay, the next one, the next two, Millie Marotta's um, books. I liked them at first, but then I didn't, so I didn't buy any more. Um, they are nice. You know, some of them are beautiful pictures, and what she does is she takes... She, she draws foliage, but turns them into um, animals, and she just makes them out of leaves. She draws them out of leaves to put, make them to put them together. Let's see. So, eh, I'm not real crazy about her books. This one doesn't have anything. 
This one has, I thought I had done more in her books. Okay, this is when I first got my Derwent Ink Tense pencils and I did this bird, but she, she needs a background. I think she came out okay for my first try. Um, she came out okay. But I could have sworn I did another one. Oh, of course, I love this. I love this one. This one came out fabulous. This was with Prismacolor pencils and the background was the um, clouds with the stencil and pastel. Let me show you so you can see it closer. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I did a very light background. Okay, the next set were a gift from my brother. And I love these books. And they're um, the Hannah Lynn books. And Diamond Art Club just started, just showed one. They showed one that has Hannah Lynn artwork and I'm dying for it. I have to have that one, I really do. <laughs> I have to break my no buy restriction at that point. If I have the moolah, I'm getting it, I don't care. So basically I have never finished a whole page. I kinda use these for practice when I get a new medium. And um, the, the pages are thinner. The thing I like about all those other books that I showed you, they have thick pages, so they take water media a lot better. Um, but I do practice in this. Now, I practice this, um, the skin with the Cali Art marker. N seamless, beautiful. It came out gorgeous. Um, you'd swear it was airbrushed because there, you don't see the lines. That's the trick about those markers is that you can't be like going, in, you know, like that. You have to, you have to do everything nice and even and quick. Um, I'm not an expert, like I said, but that's something that I learned. Um, here's another one where I practice the skin tone and some blush. And then the wings, let's get them up close. The wings was done with those chameleon markers that made a fool out of me on camera. <laughs> so as you can see, there's a slight um, gradation and that's what the whole point of the chameleon markers are. I, they're lovely, they really are, and I, they will not beat me. <laughs> they were actually very easy. I went back and I was like, duh, stupid. Okay, so um, yeah, the rest of it is pretty much practice that I did. This was practice with Brush, water brush markers, the Arteza. Now, it came out fabulous, but it really, really warps the paper. It really can't handle this paper. And as you can see, you need to put something in between to protect your papers. Um, this one doesn't have anything. The Mermaid, Mermaids, Fairies, and Other Girls of Whimsy. Beautiful book. This one, another one I think I just practiced on. Oh no, this is one that I started and didn't finish. I should do it for Halloween. I made, I did the moon and I... Oh, this is with the Neo color. I just haven't put the water to it yet. Um, that's gonna look nice. Yeah, that's it for that. The next set of books I didn't do anything in but it's a very they're beautiful and it's a very interesting story with these books these are the romantic ser the romantic country series by erie erie does her artwork with ink and a toothpick so everything that you see oh i did do something oh <laughs> i started this and i need to finish because it's coming out fabulous I think this was also a tutorial, <laughs> but let me get you focused. Um, I love the way the sky came out. If I would have learned how to do the stars the way I do now, they wouldn't look like that. They would look better. But I like the way the sun set. I love the way the towers came out with the shadow from the light um, from the moon and the shadow on the other side. I really love that. Well, Erie, her artwork, her artwork is all done with ink and a tooth and toothpicks. So her first book, she went through 700 toothpicks and she does tell you the story um, in the beginning of the book somewhere. She introduces, she introduces her start on coloring. I mean, coloring books or drawing 
um, her artwork. So this is her second book, Romantic Country, The Second Tale, and it tells a story of this little ducky right here, or swan, swan, I'm sorry, or goose. <laughs> what is it? It's a goose, it's a goose. So this goose has a name, and I can't remember the name. It tells the story of this goose's travels, I believe, and the different lands that she comes upon. So they're really beautiful. I'm just intimidated. I don't want to mess it up. So very nice. All done with toothpicks. The next one is The Night Voyage by Daria Song, another colorist that has been very popular. All these colorists have been popular. Um, I haven't done anything in it, but I've seen some really fa fabulous, fabulous um, finished pages. I love it. This is one, The Princess and the Fairy by Tomoko Tashiro. And they have a couple of other books. Um, I bought it, but it's too intricate for me. No me gusta, but it's a beautiful book. I, 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 I just like to have it. This next guy, he's interesting. His shit is weird. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a crook in my shoulder. Hold on a second. I got to pause. Okay. Um, so this is Bennett Klein. Um, he does different, what he calls sketchbooks. And um, they're just, the artwork is pretty strange. This is one that's really pretty. So you see it's a ballerina, but her body and her dress blend into the swan. Um, some of his, uh, I love this one, and I've seen some gorgeous finished pages of this one. Some of it is weird and doesn't, kind of looks, you know, <laughs> I don't know, I, like, I, I don't think I would color this. I don't like this here, that cattle skull, or whatever it's called. Um, it's just very strange artwork, but it's beautiful. And he has a whole lot of books. His pages are thin um, as well. So I wouldn't put a lot of um, water medium because you will, def you well, you could because the other side is um, just his logo of the book so but it's very thin pages it's just the artwork is very nice strange if you like that stuff but i only have one of his I, i'm not a big it's not my kind of artwork okay this is the magical city by Liz lizzie mary cullen she's another one that's very popular this is one of her most popular books and a lot of folks have used the derwin intense um pencils uh, Peter Hewitt being one of them. And then there's another one. Her name is Coloring with Alina. And she does her videos in English and in, I think, Russian, um, I believe is the language. And she, they do fabulous things. So when I'm ready to attack this book, I will follow one of their tutorials just, you know, to give me a start. But she does really nice artwork. This series of book, Alice in Wonderland. This is, um, the artist is Fabiana Atanasio, and she has quite a few, all of different fairy tale um, princesses and lead, lead ladies, leading ladies like Alice. The books are the $7.95 on Amazon. They're really cheap and they're really nice. Um, they have nice paper, nice artwork. In the back, there's a poster, which I'm not going to open. It's big-ass poster. And it's all the characters of Alice in Wonderland. This next one is the artist edition of the book, which is Whimsical Wonders um, by Julia Speary. And I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. I have not attempted anything in it yet, but basically it's like these big head chicks, <laughs> some mermaids. Um, some of it reminds me of fairy tales, Disney fairy tales. Like this one reminds me of Aladdin that looks like Jasmine. Again, 
Jasmine. This looks like something the queen from Alice in Wonderland. So they're really pretty pictures. Are you in focus? Oh my goodness. Really pretty pictures. Look, Marie Antoinette. They're all just big headed chicks, but I loved it. The princess and the pea. So this is the artist edition, and then they have the other edition that's cheaper. Um, and the paper is not as thick. So that one might be available, but I'm not sure if this one's available anymore. I, I really don't know. But if you want me to find out, I will. Let me know. This one's special. This is a young lady I came across in the um, coloring group groups and on Instagram. And I didn't realize she had her own coloring book because I was watching her videos. I just didn't put two and two together. So I ordered her book from Etsy and she autographed it, which was really nice. Um, I haven't touched it because um, I'm just scared to. It's a lot of detail. You know, so... I like, I did, oh yeah, I did do some of this, but I messed it up with them. You see the metallic, it just covers all the lines of the pearls or the beads, and I don't like it. I used a metallic glitter pen, and I didn't like it. So yeah, she's a lot of flowers. Sweet, sweet girl. I don't know if she's still doing videos. I haven't seen one come up in my recommended list for a while. This is um, another big head, <laughs> big head chick um, color, um, I mean artist, um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith, and you probably recognize her. She's pretty popular. Um, her stuff is in cross stitch, it's on bags, it's, it's everywhere. Um, and I mean, I love her artwork, don't get me wrong. I love those little big head chicks. But this is... She's a little bit more goth, a little dark. I messed this one up. I used the Neo, I just got in the Neo color and I used them and uh, I hate the way this came out. I don't like it. I really don't. This is black acrylic paint. This is the Neo color as well. All this is Neo color, but I was new. I wasn't sure how, you know, I wasn't great at using them. I'm not that I'm an expert now, but I was total virgin when I did this. Um, and I don't like it. I kind of ruined it. Yeah, I, I love her artwork. And I need to get her other books. I think she has two more. This is another um, Japanese artist. In, let's see. Inko Kotoriyama. And it's about this cow and this bird. And a little, f at the time, four-year-old got to it <laughs> and decided to do her own artwork in here um, with gel pens, which is, it's okay. At least it wasn't one of my Hannah Carlson books or my Maria Troll or my Clara, Clara Markova or Kirby Rosanis. At least it wasn't one of theirs. But this is a beautiful book about this cow and bird. Um, but yeah, she did. That's daddy. <laughs> okay, last but not least, it's my Grazia Salvo Flowers and Gems. This book is gorgeous. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I've seen a lot of people use marker, which you could because they're one sided and they give you this so you can put in between pages. Um, I don't know, there's something about this. Doesn't she look like Julia Roberts? She just looks like a young Julia Roberts to me. And the, it's a grayscale kind of, so you have the shading. And many people that I've seen with this book, let me, see, let me make sure you're in focus. Um, many people have used markers and they come out great because the shading is there for you. I'm just scared. <laughs> I get intimidated by some of this artwork and it's absolutely gorgeous. Look, she's got an earring in her, oops, an ear, a nose piercing. Isn't that hot? These are beautiful. I really like them. 
Look at that. I love this one. I think this is my favorite one. It's me when I was younger. <laughs> so yeah, they're beautiful. So that is it, but I do want to show you one more thing. So the mediums that I've used, especially the water medium, led me to purchase watercolor palettes. I just want to get some of these books down so I don't have an avalanche. And because um, where they'll fall, they're going to knock something else down. Okay. So with that being said, it led me to liking watercolor media and i tried my hand at some watercolors um which are right here <laughs> got some watercolor paper and started doing a you know a youtube search and um i came across a, a gentleman named frank mccourt Frank Mc no, that's the author. Frank McClark, an Irishman, cute, adorable old man who's an artist, and he does YouTube tutorials. So I followed a couple of his YouTube tutorials, and this was the first one. Um, I screwed up. Oops, I'm going to show you that. I screwed up this part, but I still love it. I wish I was there right now <laughs> on that boat. <laughs> Um, this one was another one also by Frank McClark, <laughs> or Frank Clark. I think it's Frank Clark, but I'll link them down below if I remember. <laughs> um, this is another tutorial he did that I followed. So I kind of messed up here and I did the water reflect, the reflection of the tree a little too big, but I like it all the same. I'm not an expert. Um, no, <laughs> I did this one. I don't know what I was trying to do, but I was kind of angry that day and the picture looks angry. The water, the, it's supposed to be water. The angry seas, I should call it that. <laughs> um, there's another one that I was just messing around with. Um, I learned how to do the leaves on a tree with a, um, a sponge. I put the watercolor on the sponge and then I press it real quick here and there and you get that the, the leaves of the tree which I think came out pretty cool. But this part here, I don't know what the hell I was trying to do. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, here, oops, I'm sorry, did I move y'all? Okay. I was practicing the sky here, so, eh. I don't know what the hell that yellow shit is. <laughs> I guess it's the beach, I don't know. But I was practicing the sky. Another sky practice, I'm trying to get it. I, it, I was learning here, I'm not an expert, like I said, but I, that came out crappy. <laughs> Here's another one. I don't know. I was trying to do like a fall scene, um, but I screwed up the trees here. I don't know if you see those smudges. I don't know what I did. <laughs> they, I ran, they're all smudged. I don't know. This is um, Another one I did, did, a man and his dog. The dog's legs came out kind of funky. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. I think it came out nice. This is a tutorial I followed on YouTube. I The tree, I did the sponge technique. Um, it's my rainbow tree and this is there's a little person under the tree looking up at the sky um, and this is going to my friend my BFF Philip and which I've promised him this about two years ago <laughs> that and a crocheted blanket and I'm so sorry you will get those things eventually I don't know when but you will um, but yeah I like this one and this is one of my favorites I have given two 
I did a lone wolf on a on a rock um, with the ga- looking at the galaxy howling with the moon behind him. It's a similar picture, a familiar picture that you find on the internet because I found the silhouette of the of the um, wolf on the rock on the internet and I kind of traced it and it's just all black with the galaxy sky and it's beautiful but I gave that one to my boyfriend if I find a picture of it I will put it at the end of this video and then there was another one kind of similar to this next one that I'm showing um, it's like a mix of this one and the doggy one except it's not a man and a dog it's a male and a female i also gifted that one so this is my um puerto rico themed picture with el morro and they call puerto rico the shining star of the caribbean that's why i did the that big star so and it's watercolor i yeah which i mentioned <laughs> and i like it it's pretty i did a couple more practices and i've gotten better um so yeah that's my watercolor art and then that led me to <laughs> doing a mixed media journal which i started and i haven't finished um but i'm enjoying it eventually i will do this cover and get rid of this one um but let me just make sure i'm showing you i go all over i don't go in order um of the pages but this was my first attempt at mixed media journaling and it's a bunch of stencils and gesso and um inks that i have some glitter um it's not finished because i need to put a focal point on it but i enjoy it it's fun it's a lot of fun there's so many youtube tutorials on it i'm not showing you that that was ridiculous um you're gonna be able to tell that i like um butterflies <laughs> so this is another one again stencils stamps this one has stamps which are these things here and these butterflies this is gesso on a stencil um and it clear and it dried clear which i like that it was transparent that's another stamp um this here it's like a, an embossing powder but you don't need heat with it has a medium that makes it look like that but it came out kind of sloppy it says dream create imagine here's another one that i like um and it, here it says fly butterfly fly pretty butterfly that's a stent that is a uh is it a stencil i think it was a stencil the bottom part and then these are cutouts that i had these butterflies i cut out of um thick paper and um you know color uh, um painted them in with um different medium coloring ink mediums that i have this edge here it's a shiny glittery gesso but i didn't know what i was doing and i don't like how it came out it kind of ruined it i don't know it it looks pretty but i don't like it i don't like it too much so this is also stamping this is stamp a stamp a big stamp that i have um oh, that's cleaning off my brush this one's another one that's these are like three different stencils that i had i had a fairy stencil i have the cherry blossom two different cherry blossom stencils and um word stencils which i'm not sure why this it i used acrylic paint and it kind of bled all over the place so it doesn't look like the actual way the font is supposed to look um but i like it and then the background i used um I really don't remember what I used in the background. Mm, what did I use? Oh, the, the, the Stress Oxide, I believe it was, um, which is this, I'll show you. These are like, they look like, they're ink stamps, but the ink is different. Oops. <laughs> Got the little pad on there. Um, so these are wonderful because they're water soluble. I love these. I'll do something on my mixed media art journal um, supplies in another video. If you want, just leave me a comment down below. 
Okay. Oh, God. This video is getting too long. I hope I'm not boring you. I'm, like, really into this, so I'm really serious. I'm not laughing that much. <laughs> so, um, this last one, I had a love letter laying around, and I decided to do something with it. And it's not finished yet because I still have more to do on it. Um, but it's my favorite of all, only because of the colors that I used. Um, there's this dress oxide in the background. Okay, so the love letter was ripped up into strips and then glued with glued along here. And then I gessoed the page and um, just started doing my own thing. The, this is scrapbook paper that I did cutouts on and then I, I colored the edges with the Distress Oxide in black to make it look antique. This is a stencil and I used, um, I think the Distress Oxide on it. So in some of it, you can actually see the handwriting. Wait, let me get you, get you. So you can actually see the handwriting, like this right here is handwriting from the love letter. Right here. So I thought that was a pretty cool idea. So if you got any love letters <laughs> laying around, rip them up and throw them on top of some glue and make yourself some art. <laughs> And then I use some stamps. I have stamps here. There's more um, scrapbook paper that I cut out. So yeah, I love it. And I, oh, can, I don't know if you can see this, but I used a heart stencil and use some glitter glue uh, right there to form some hearts here and there. So yeah, this is pretty cool. So that's it for my art journal. And that's it for my, um, coloring books whips and finished pages video i want to thank you if you reached this far thank you so much for joining me and and watching my video um i hope i didn't bore you um and um oh i'm gonna dedicate this video to fruitini um she left me a comment on my first coloring video and i felt so honored because she's like a celebrity in the diamond painting world <laughs> She was one of the first people that I watched after Ella. Um, and I just I just love her videos and I need to go catch up on her coloring videos. But anyway, this is dedicated to you, Frutini. Thank you for watching my other video and thank you so much for your lovely comment. Um, but anyway, mi gente, I've, I've left this video going long enough and my voice is going, my throat is dry, I need some water and I will talk to you in my next video. So like, subscribe, get notified, you know what to do. Hasta luego, mi gente. Besos. Mwah.